how to create a website using Dreamweaver CX5. Yeah, because you may be using Dreamweaver, so let me show you that as well, instead of just doing it manually using HXM as a notepad and so on, right? So once you install your Dreamweaver CS5, but I think CS6 follows the same methods. So let's press on site. Let's then say new site. Select that. I can call my website anything that I want. Let's say my website. Let's browse into the folder, XM folder and browse into HT Docs and select my website. Let's select that. Now, because this is our local development environment, we don't need to provide server credentials. But if you're installing um, Dreamweaver and you want to manage your website, then press on servers, press on the plus sign, and then give credentials to your FTP account. And your website URL public as a root directory is usually called public underscore HTML but your web server on internet may be different you also have more options you hardly use these but if you ever have trouble logging in to your web server that's residing on internet then you may explore some of these options okay advanced feature you can perhaps leave maintain synchronization information and so on but usually the default setting should be good enough okay so let's keep this video short so now this is my website and this is my local folder let's press save and now on the right hand side under files tab whereby I can always minimize it expand it by double clicking on it or expand it okay so as you can see now my web development process will be much easier because I can see the files and folders right in the panel here. Remember you can always drag panels to other places and attach them to different parts. As you can see from here, put it back to here, I can then move the tabs as well. You also have options predefined settings of the layer you may select coder or you may even create your own workspace i'd like to have this it's much easier because i'm kind of used to it now this is how you create a website using dreamweaver right our index.html file has this because we've been working on these in the previous video sessions but we can also say file new select our doc type because we know the importance of that and we are using html5 let's create a blank page and voila dreamweaver makes everything so easy now let's save this file as into our website folder and let's call this about us about hyphen us let's save this let's remove that untitled document thing and say about us this is the title of our web page and we know the body tag is what is seen on the browser front end here I actually don't need to place this if I don't want what is this tag all about though this tag is basically saying the character set that will be found within this particular HTML document is set UTF-8. This covers the main English language and many other encoding characters. But let's imagine you were using, you, know, you were creating a website built on Chinese language. Then you will need to set the character set accordingly. Okay, so Dreamweaver puts this by default, but I could have easily removed all that and just said, you know what, meta tag should be just character encoding equals double quote UTF-8. Oh, I can actually delete that, 
save the file, let me go into the body section, let me create another header section. Let me close that up. Let me go back and say, you know what? Let me put a P tag, which is paragraph tag. Let me close that paragraph tag. Let me save this document. Let me press on file, preview in browser. I can select the browser or I can even edit the browser list because you may be using Safari as an example. And you can set the default. Preview in browser, let me go and see that sample page within our website folder now is called Abiaras. Remember this, if you have never used Dreamweaver before, it may be overwhelming with all these options that you see. But don't be overwhelmed. In fact, th there are one or two or three or maybe few settings here I have never used because I never needed to. But it is a powerful program. And let's continue learning about HTML5 and CSS. And I thank you very much for learning with me. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.